Right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can transfer files via Bluetooth in Windows 10. Now if you want to uh, transfer files from your phone to your Windows machine via Bluetooth you're going to need one of these Bluetooth dongles. You can buy these pretty cheap I'll leave the link in the video description but basically if your motherboard has Bluetooth already you won't need one of those but if you haven't got mother, uh, motherboard that supports uh, Bluetooth already built in you will need one of those dongles. So your next step is to plug in the Bluetooth dongle into your computer or laptop and you should see it uh, in the USB port there. Once you've got that plugged into your USB port it will start flashing and it will be ready to go as long as you've turned it on in your phone. So head over to your phone, go to settings and go to Bluetooth and then make sure you've got the Bluetooth uh, toggle turned on like so and you should see it on there okay so we've got the Bluetooth enabled on the phone and we just need to make sure that it's enabled on the computer so go into the start button here and then go settings this will open up another box where you can go to your devices so click on devices and you should see Bluetooth make sure that little toggle is turned on and down here you'll see a bunch of stuff that is Bluetooth enabled or Bluetooth ready and I've already got my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus uh, enabled here and paired but if you if you want to do another phone I'll show you how to do it it's very simple and easy to do so all we need to do is go up to the very top and click add Bluetooth uh, device or other device and then click the Bluetooth icon here so click on this one it will scan uh, the neighboring network near you and see if it can find Bluetooth that is enabled. You can see it's found my phone so just click on this one and it will give you a number so then what you need to do is head over to your phone and look for that number. You should now see the number put the little radio button or tick inside the box and then click on pair. Once you've done that you want to head back over to your computer and you should see it connecting and then just click on the connect now you need to do this straight away otherwise it won't connect and you will need to do the whole sequence again. So you can see we've got the number on the screen and it will say your device is now ready to go and it is paired. You only have to do this once and you should see it in your list saying paired items there. You can see the phone has been paired. There we go and I've already got my Galaxy S9 Plus paired. Now once that's done we're ready to share files and send files and whatever we want to do. So let's go down to the bottom right hand side and you should see a Bluetooth icon there. Just right click on that one and it will give you the options to send a file or receive a file. So whatever you're trying to do you can either send or receive. So let's try one of these. So let's go ahead and click on receive a file. Now this is on my computer so I'm going to receive a file from a Bluetooth device in my vicinity. So what I'm going to do here, as you can see here, waiting for connection, go back over to my phone, select an item that I want to send, it will say send, and you can send it via uh, Bluetooth. So I'm going to click send, and it will give you the option, so do Bluetooth, click on the Bluetooth icon, just let me close that off, there we go, Bluetooth, and it will then start to send that item to your computer without a cable. So that's now sending it over. So let's go back over to the computer. And you should now start receiving the file that we sent over. I'll speed this process up. And you can send and receive files from your computer to your phone or from your phone to your computer. It's very simple to do. And you don't need no cables to connect to your computer or your phone because we're doing it via Bluetooth. Now if you want to send a file you can right click on a file on your computer and send it to your phone if you want to do that. So all you need to do here is click send to and then select the item that you want to send i.e. from which device you want to send it to. I'll select this one here, click next and it will start to send that to your phone. You would then obviously go over to your phone and then make sure that you're selecting the right item on your phone and it should come straight over and it's that simple. Now for security reasons, once you've finished using your Bluetooth, you should always disable it. So go to Start, Settings, and just turn off your Bluetooth inside your Windows machine here. And you can also turn it off on your phone so you're not got it on all the time. You should only leave it on uh, for when you're actually using it or when you're sending files 
to and from your phone to your PC or laptop. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Hope this one's been useful and helpful to you. My name has been Brian from bradtechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Don't forget, pop over to our Discord server if you fancy a chat. Uh, there's plenty of people over there that are willing to help out and have a chat with. There's a great community over there, and I shall see you over there if you want to pop over there. The link is in the video description and also in the top of the comment section. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.